continue Monkey Island. Let's see Monkey Island. I last left this at the ship point on part two, right at the beginning. So I didn't get any further than that. Um, I wanted to leave it there so I could carry on doing it and not complete the whole entire game in my stream. So let's continue. book inside. Let's see what it is. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. <laughs> Captain's Log, March 23rd. Toothrot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soup he fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. Mm. We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. It looks like an empty chest. Hmm. Nice over by Monkey Island. Nice try, Kybrush, but no banana. Essentially, you can't really do anything with the crew, they're just not going to do anything. Um, you just have to get some ingredients. inside. This is no prize. 
It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it. Kegs of gunpowder. Wow, gunpowder! I think I'll take some. They're all rusted shut. There's some very fine wine in here. I'll grab it. User joined your channel. Microphone muted. Yeah, no User disconnected from your channel. Sound muted. Sound muted. I'm hoping that's not going to keep beeping at me now, but it shouldn't do. Um. Every time I play this game, uh, it brings back old memories of when I It's was a small key with a finely engraved Very little on. in my old house. Uh, and all we had was an Amiga between the three of us. We used to always whatever who got to play on the Amiga and who got to play what. <laughs> Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Hey, look, a piece of paper. And some cinnamon sticks. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick, four leaves of mint, one human skull, pressed, one squirt squid ink, two pints monkey blood, mm -hmm. one live chicken, three ounces brimstone, one or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow 8, mine mononitrate, <laughs> and BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. Cinnamon. Good thing I've got a million of these. That should be enough. I don't see anything special about it. Just a drop. About the time I got rid of this worthless artifact. Let's see, mince, chicken, ink, wine, cinnamon stick, and I think it was it. This is gonna yeah. be good. Yikes! Oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. 
Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. Moments later, the voodoo spell kicks in, turning the ship to an unknown heading and off on its mysterious voyage. Bladders. It's Monkey Island. Take some more. I don't think it's going to catch fire. You can actually carry fire. That's really. I remember right. This is a really kind of quick moment of where you. And there's no place back here to put the gunpowder. I think I always used to use uh, the old style of dirt because it's really, really tricky to get up. Yeah, um. I wouldn't want to set that on fire. Go on, go on, go on, go brush, go. Don't bother to say hello. <laughs> I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. <laughs> I better leave it here. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. Hey, Philip. How you doing? And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. Really, really good. Yeah, I'm good. Thought I'd carry on with the uh, monkey island today. That 
this definitely sounds really amazing. here. Hey, nice spyglass. Oh, Looks just like, like say, where is my spyglass? Oh, perfect. I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. Naturally, I don't oh, think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence <laughs> that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. <laughs> Don't be a jerk! <laughs> <laughs> it's printed on letterhead to the ghost pirate lechuk we must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area decent people are trying to sleep kindly keep the noise level down the monkey island cannibals p.s. <laughs> we saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there Look at that fabulous ship out there! Did you come in that? You're braver than you look. Actually, it looks a lot like a ship I used to own. I got taken by a guy named Stan. Stan of Stan's used ships on <laughs> Melee Island? <laughs> Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I better go now. The, the dead sign or what? I'm a bit confused by that. Boy, it sure is hot here. To the Monkey Island Cannibals, please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. <laughs> Herman Toothrock. Nah, he's just the someone who got uh, he got left on Monkey Island. 
to be honest, once I go through the series, you actually find out who he really is and everything. There's an actual a whole story to this. Get away, heaven, too, for it. Stop talking to me. <laughs> I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it. <laughs> yes, it is a nice view. How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hoped to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail a ship back by myself. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. There's something must have happened. <laughs> How come you didn't just go with the chimps? Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Pretty sure there's supposed to be a rock that he's supposed to be able to pick up, but... What would I want with a big rock? Ooh, the flint is, there's supposed to be some flint somewhere. I've already got it. Boy, it sure is hot here. Oh, wait, 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 now I feel it. Well, I'll check out this Go note while I'm at it. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you. Oh, they say don't board the, the ship, Island, and I went and shot myself out of the cannon again. <laughs> Hey, mother bird. But could you please refrain from leaving messy How sacrifices on my porch? Also, again, I'm absolutely loving the t-shirt the that uh, arrived the other day. Really awesome. Oh, it's I can't pick that up. I don't want to pick it up though. Inventory. That doesn't seem to work. Whoa! Oh no, I did it to myself. I got gunpowder to put it in the cannon, lit the fuse, jumped in with a pot on my head and shot myself out of the cannon <laughs> to get onto Monkey Island. I probably should have gone down to the pond first so you can see why I was doing what I did, but this guy originally is just hang up there and you can't get to him. But the reason you have to break that down is so you can get to the rope and stuff. This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. <laughs> He's lost weight. Never looked better. <laughs> what happened to him? Oh, nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Herman, please return our key to the monkey head. The cannibals. Hi. Seen any big, ugly, scary see through pirates around here? Really to put back, but I think it's because he's supposed to also leave at the same time. That's why I'm talking. Uh, they do tweak some of the stuff in this game, like they've changed a few things from the original as well. 
once I get into this uh, section, I'll, I'll be able to point you, point out the difference to you guys from the original game. I can't get in there yet. But uh, there's always that saying monkey see, monkey do. Boy, it sure is hot here. See my ship from here. What a hunk of junk! Is it loud again? That's really weird. Let me see I can do with that. Maybe that's for though. I mean, this is what I mean. This microphone just seems to be really quiet now since I put the adapter in. And I think it's the adapter making it quiet. So uh, I'm, I can't wait till I get my new microphone. I don't know why it is that it's so quiet. I really don't. <laughs> oh, that's good. At least it's better now then. <laughs> so I need to push or pull. Mr. Toothrot, please remove this dangerous object. Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly injured someone who was putting up a swing on the banana tree on the south beach. The cannibals. Yeah, well, it, it's OBS. I have it turned down. The sound's supposed to be technically turned down on OBS, and the mic's at full, whereas the uh, sound pickup is supposed to be halfway. But obviously, OBS isn't doing it for some reason. So I just hope when my new mic arrives, that it'll, it'll sound better. Let's turn it like that. But otherwise, I don't know why it's really, really quiet. Um, it's really weird. I'll just put it here. It's not so much the mic. I mean, I can't wow. put it in a normal port Looked because. Looked like it hit the uh, big banana tree on the beach. Because before it used to make a really weird noise. If I streamed, you don't necessarily hear it in, in uh, TeamSpeak because it's not constant pickup. Hopefully, uh, the one I'm getting is going to be a lot better because it's the, uh, the blue snowball. So it's going to be the damn sight better than this Boy, one. Sure this one was only cheap here. anyway, it was like uh, £8 plus a couple of quid uh, delivery or something. And I didn't even pay for it. I believe uh, Tibbs bought it for me. But yeah, I decided to plug this into the USB using an adapter, and the adapter, it took me a while to get the adapter to work, to be honest with you. And hey Dee, how are you? 
uh, the adapter I had to actually get them to send me drivers to get it to work because it wouldn't work with the drivers that came in the disc. <laughs> oh, we didn't actually have to do. Oh, no, get back! <laughs> Thank you. I miss like how the original game used to be, and that's how I used to play it. Just uh, like this. I don't know why the sound doesn't work so much in this point, but I think it's because they didn't actually have any sounds at that point in the original game. Yeah, I used that on my phone, and it's really hard to keep up with someone's Twitch and talking to them on my phone, like uh, using the typing and that. Wait, why am I going up here? I'm supposed to go down and uh, use the robot and find more bananas. I can paddle it with these oars. <laughs> this is how the map used to look back in the uh, old me game as well. You wouldn't see all of the map, you just go out the map and go around like this. You can see how much they've expanded the map, but added all this extra bit around and it actually kind of sort of links up more. It was pretty good back in the day. It was it was one of those really really amazing games. I absolutely loved it. My favourite one though has to be uh, the second one, Monkey Island Two. It's my favourite. Suckers, your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. HT. glad to see us. You've got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? Well, yes. Although lately, we've been trying to stay away from Red. <laughs> if we could make him oh, twerk. <laughs> that would be funny to see We're Guy still as twerk. vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our Is stuff. she the one that we'll basically see. has her camera straight well, just literally on her boobs all the time thing? Because I think I remember someone mentioning about it and then I looked looked them up and I was like, wow, what? <laughs> Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! 
Hey, do you really think we're that <laughs> stupid? I wouldn't push it if I were you. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Ha! We're not going to fall for that old trick again. I guess we'll eat you now. You want me to say you what, mate? Unless... That sounds if weird. you had some sort of offering for us, something that we could pass on to the great monkey, <laughs> well, you ain't going nowhere until you give us something. Obviously, you have nothing for us. We might eat you, wow, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, <laughs> let me show you our guest hut. That should do it. Yeah, sure. Um, hang on, you might not be able to send it. Uh... Nightbot might stop you from sending the link. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must protest your acquisition of our voodoo Yeah, it might be easy to send it over Skype. We realize that Nightbot it presents a hazard like, to you and your crew, but this is thievery. <laughs> the Monkey Island Cannibals. If I flip my hair, I don't get I haven't and really no, got a lot of hair I'm to not flip getting my hair. squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. <laughs> so let's do it. But think of your arteries. We are cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. Yeah, definitely. I think she does it a little bit too much. Too much to the point that it's kind of an embarrassment. <laughs> I don't know, it took me like uh over three hours to get my hair uh, from purple to blonde, so I don't know. I don't know if I want to go through that three hours again of dyeing it. It wasn't originally this blonde when I first got it dyed. I had to go and get it done professionally because uh, it took a lot of hair dye. And that, even with short hair, it took a lot of hair dye because they had to keep reapplying more and more dye. It was it was ridiculously long. Yeah, they did do a lot of lot of good work with the map. I still do like what they did with the old version. I mean, given what they had at their disposal to make the game, it it was good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no food for their chest. Oh. Yeah, I have to admit, when I, after having my hair dyed uh, that one time at the hairdressers, uh, I had to leave it for a good couple of months before I. Uh, I touched it again with any more hair dye because my hair was so, so dry. 
because that literally just pulled all the moisture, moisture out of my hair. It didn't feel like it was actually real hair for a while, which made me kind of sad, but it was well worth it though. Um, when I went to have it done, I was actually quite lucky they were taking in uh, models at the hairdressers. So I got it done for like £15 rather than £70 to £80 pounds of where it would have cost because of the amount of dye they had to use. Oh my god, I need to get up here tonight. Ah, uh, that absolutely sucks. Oh, that must be nasty to have a girl at chewing gum. Now you see how it is here, and you've got there a tentacle idol. Sam Max was originally there. <laughs> I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk. <laughs> Boy, it sure is hot here. I think it was eight bit. Um, it wasn't a lot because that was back when they when they hardly really did anything about graphics. Uh, that was back when it was on the Amiga, and Amiga didn't really have a lot of uh, graphics put at all. Why did they go here? I didn't need to go here, did I? Um. <laughs> you have to do that the kind of walls. Yeah, this is a PC game now. Wait, it's not. Is it a beach here? I mean Amiga was like kind of like a computer the way it was designed. It had you had the monitor, you had your keyboard and you had your uh, you had your mouse. Um, there was no like uh, desktop bit in the middle though, it was just literally a keyboard, monitor and mouse. And the only extra parts you got was another disk drive because you had those little normally floppy disks that you used to keep putting in and goes You've got to this part, please insert disk two or please insert disk five. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Yeah, I pretty much grew up on uh, playing on the Amiga when I was little because we didn't really have any other consoles. Uh, <laughs> We have literally tons and tons of Amiga games downstairs in our front room. Unfortunately, we don't have the Amiga anymore. We had a complete two different Amigas. We had the Amiga 1200 and the Amiga 500, and we had these like monos, everything. We still had them. When I moved house uh, with my brothers, we were going to keep them, and my mother was storing everything for us at her house. And out of a random moment, I don't know why, 
she took the monitors from the Amiga and threw them out, threw half the Amiga, Amigas out, and then gave us the games and the extra parts to it, and we said, look, you know, it's not worth anything now. Because uh, we would have kept them and probably tried to sell them on later on, because I believe one of the Amigas is now worth almost up to £400. Something like that. I, I can't remember exactly, but we were really, really kind of disappointed because you know we wanted to keep them for a long while, and then obviously if we decided to sell them, we would have sold them complete. And we we were devastated. I mean, I, I sat them as like I'm, I'm not gonna go and flip out, but my brother was completely pissed off with my mum for that. I was like, how could you do that? <laughs> it's like there's no point giving us this if we can't play them on Amiga. They're absolutely useless. I don't want to get any closer to that thing. It might be booby trapped. <laughs> uh, I didn't kill her because of Endai. It's one of those things. Uh, I probably would have got yelled at if I didn't have to go out for it. To the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? <laughs> now then, how did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? Don't eat me! I'm a mighty pirate! That means his skin will be leathery and his meat tough and the stringy. We'll give you one more chance to trade something of yours for your freedom. Well... Wow, this is impressive. Lemonhead, take a look at this. Ooh, that's nice. And it says, made by Lemonhead, just like one of mine. <laughs> we should take this to the Great Monkey. Yes, I yeah, agree. Definitely. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. is just like a, a cotton bud. <laughs> that always just made me laugh. It was because of my stepdad that they kind of were like, we need to get rid of this stuff, this stuff shouldn't be kept up in the loft anymore, kind of thing. Um, my mum does kind of really random, crazy things sometimes. You kind of get used to it.
had a feeling that in hell there would be mushrooms. treasure hunting it's called how to get ahead and navigate My question to you, I'm like, where are you seeing these dudes? Not me, I know that. <laughs> um, no, I don't know, I'm gonna go to the beach, get the boat, go back to. Uh... There's a message. <laughs> it's a memo. To Herman Toothrot, from Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law, <laughs> regarding suit against Cannibal Tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. <laughs> I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. I've been to Taco Bell, so I don't know what I'd be, uh, be getting from Taco Bell. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm actually really picky with food. I love to eat food, but I'm very picky in what I eat. Come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. I love the fact that every time I say Monkey Island, it's well, always got the TM on the end of it. Civilized people. <laughs> Saying that it's trademark. That's okay. The people I'm looking for aren't living. Oh, yeah. Those mm. guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? One of my crew? favorite things to eat. Those jerks have been bugging us for One months. One of my most favorite things I love Zooming to eat. Around here in that probably creepy be ghost ship of theirs. Steak. Wailing so and moaning until Medium all rest. hours of the morning. Scaring away all I also love to eat lamb, business? and we can't afford to get lamb. Normally, now, it's just when we have problems with the undead, oh, we just cook up our standard portion of exorcism and be done with it. Give me the potion. I'll use it on LeChuck. We can't. Why not? Well, <laughs> the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But the Chuck stole the whole thing. Where is he hiding it? 
He's in a place beneath this island. Somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. A hellish Why place I got some filled nice with the wailing and tortured souls trapped forever in the rock, really, really where nice. the walls bleed. And the air is thick with the rancid them on, uh, smell Saturday. of pure evil. Yeah, really, really nice. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. We had, what was it, gammon steaks, uh, pineapple slices, sweet corn, and steak chips. It's amazing. Mm. And then LeChuck came and ruined everything, right? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. How do I get to these catacombs? The great monkey himself is the gateway to the catacombs of the underworld. <laughs> Uh, I think over here, if you want like a uh, piece of lamb, you're probably not getting something like that. It's really, really small. Not enough to like feed more than one or three people. Um, whoops. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it ends up costing something like almost ten pounds for like a really tiny piece of lamb, whereas you could get like a piece of pork like that for like four to five pounds, which is ridiculous. So all we ever really tend to have on a Sunday is either chicken or pork, and that's it. We never get anything else because beef and lamb are just too expensive. I don't know why I did that, because that was the only time you capped. Was that just a warning? That's it. Oh, it's because you uh, you put it all in capitals. Nightbot uh, stops people from using loads of cap capital letters and stuff. Chuck came in here and stole your root? What a cad. And I suppose stealing bananas is any better. <laughs> I'm off to find the Chuck and get the root. Mm. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Same mistake. Trying to find the Chuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way <laughs> through the catacombs without the... It's okay, it's just Nightbot hey. being a bit... Bixnay on the Edhay of the Avigator Nay. The what? Nothing. Nothing. Why are you guys talking in pig Latin? <laughs> I see he is baffled by our native dialect. Good. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate <laughs> sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that That's nice to idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead... What was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well... I'm so happy I actually have a bottle of uh, vanilla now, Peg Killer Vanilla, since as has actually stopped selling them again. I think the reason they've stopped selling them is because they're now doing that Coca Cola Life, or what it's called, the Green Bottle. They're trying to promote that more or something. Ah, the key to the Great Monkey. Thank you very much. Oh, it reminds me actually, my brother was telling me the other day uh, there was a way to get stuck in, uh, in part one. No, I didn't go trick or treating. Uh, there's, there's nowhere really around here that I know that you could go to anyway, and I don't know. It just seems a bit weird now because I'm like 25, so. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. 
Yeah, uh, when I was at the stand, he used to these instructions to get ourselves a new section. one. Yes, I suppose there's a point you can actually get stuck now. in that game and not get any further. Thanks. Uh, Looks pretty good. You remember there was a grog machine head, in his shop. Essentially, you could keep putting your we money in that machine in and then have it so you couldn't afford to buy a ship and then get to stuck. Ghosts. Oh look! I think he likes you. Just follow his nose, and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. <laughs> we'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost dissolving solution. And you can pour them a chuck like salt on a slug. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot to click that point in old version. Um, forgot that bit's really, really quick. It doesn't save on me for very long. Yeah, I used to go out when I was a child to, to trick or treating, but nowadays no one really seems to bother with it. The monkey looks a lot bigger in the old style. You see now it looks a bit smaller and more thinner and stuff. Yeah, it's a lot nicer when there's a lot of people. Because the next makes the chat more active. It's definitely a lot nicer. I'm actually trying to think of... Uh, since I have some of that money left over from donation for for giveaways, I'm trying to think of a good number to set up. Uh, like after so many followers, when to do that? At the moment, I have 92 followers, so I couldn't really say 100 because that's a bit too close. I think. So I was thinking possibly near 150 or something. Maybe a bit more than that, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it wants me to go to the left. Have you noticed that actually there's like a nose right here? <laughs> Like 150 followers. Because uh, I've got some money aside now that I can use to do some giveaways. I'm going to probably put up a little uh, announcement of like what games people would want as a giveaway. And then try to set a number of how many followers. Once I hit a certain amount of followers, then um, go from there really. I was going to do it at 100, but now I've, I'm pretty close to 100 already. I want to give a little bit of time before then. So I can get a rough idea of what everyone wants to, to, uh, to get. I also want, uh, wouldn't mind suggestions on uh, what would be good games to get and stuff. Where's this Amy? Is it up here? I can't go anywhere. It is in the circle. Back up. <laughs> I forget this still changes, doesn't it? You move to one side of the map, it changes, you move back. Uh, 
It wasn't in euros actually, because you did it in Canadian dollars, which uh, goes down to uh, the British pounds, which I believe it came out to seventy-seven pounds and twenty-one pence with the exchange rate and the the deduction fees that PayPal uses to to change it into pounds, because they they charge you to change it. Yeah, it's going to be a Steam game, because Steam will be the easy way for me to do it, because I can then just gift it to someone. Yeah, PayPal's a bit nasty like that. I'm like, oh, you can have this, but we'll take this off. <laughs> the zombie one. Um, there's quite a few zombie games. Uh, You've got Daisy, which is a zombie game. You've got uh, Seven Days to Die. Was it Daisy? I haven't actually got that game myself, but I wouldn't mind using that as a giveaway. <laughs> yeah, Dead Rising is quite a good game. I've seen the first one, I played a little bit of it, where you have to go around the mall and. Uh, you can create weapons out of different things in the mall. Oh, I like Mind Z. Mind Z is a really good game to play. Uh, me and my friend Monkey were playing that a couple of days ago. And we got pretty far. We got very far up the north and we're getting quite good things. And I can't think what it was that made us all die. I think we just got caught by the zombies one by like got picked off one by one. <laughs> Surprisingly, a lot of my Steam games I have at the moment uh, is uh, you'll you'll notice I have quite a few games and uh, quite a few of them I've been actually gifted by uh, Tibbers. Like he bought me uh, some humble wonder games. He bought me Vanishing of Ethan Carr. The reason I haven't listed what other games he got me is because I can't remember which ones were from the humble bundle or not. <laughs> so. Really, it's got a CX board, that'd be quite interesting. Definitely, I'd definitely play uh, Play Mind Z. What happened there? Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, Nightbot doesn't like caps. As what I was saying earlier in one of the cutscenes, I was saying to you there's a face in here, which is this face. Can you guys guess which LucasArts game this person is from? They're actually a character in one of the LucasArts games. Can you guys guess which one it is? I don't believe that there's actually a face there in the original. This was kind of added in as like a little, uh, little Easter egg kind of thing. You can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> Okay, we're here. Oh, now here we go. I can now show you, Ian. That's what it used to look like in the original. <laughs> May I please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. Oh, you couldn't see it. Why can't I have it? I've got a bad feeling about this place. I think I might need it. Oh, come on, please. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. <laughs> Pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Maybe I'll just take it. Maybe you'd better not. <laughs> pretty, pretty, please? 
You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. I don't want to have to hurt you. And I don't want to have to make you regret it. What are you going to do? Bite me? Remember, <laughs> you need me to get out of this place. If I wanted to, I could strand you here forever. If I wanted to, I could dropkick you into the lava. On second thought, hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? <laughs> I will be at back one sec. I'm just going to pop out the room real quick. I'm back. Carry on with the game. This feels weird. <laughs> so if you want, I can now tell you uh, this little guy down here. He is actually from Lucas Arts game Grim Fandango, which I believe they actually are in the making of uh, remastering it and making it look better in its 3D models. I don't know when it's going to come out, but I all I know is that when that comes out, I am going to to get it. I'm going to get Grim Fandango remastered because I love Grim Fandango as well. I really did like most a uh, good majority of the LucasArts games they did on the uh, on the Mega and PC. You know what I think is a little bit more funny when I have one of my uh, brothers come to me and go Can you give me advice on how to get a girlfriend? <laughs> and my, my answer to that is First thing of all, stop being lazy <laughs> I mean he works now uh, Back then he didn't work and I was like, yeah, you, you need to be more active and stop sleeping in all the time like you do. Oh, it was a really good game. It was uh, out on the PC. Um, 
I can't remember if I've got a copy of it somewhere, but if I do, I'll see if I can get it working. Uh, if not, I'll try and download a copy of it for ScumBM. Because uh, I've got Monkey Island 3 now working with ScumBM, so I can actually play that one again. Because uh, Windows 7 was always a bit weird with the uh, old games. It's locked. It's locked tight. Must be something important down there. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I think it really depends on when you meet someone because honestly, I got messed around with by someone really, really badly and I pretty much sat there and said no, I'm not going to go down that road again and then I met the right person, I guess, at the right time. And I guess before then it just wasn't the right time. <laughs> I'm missing something, and I can't think of how I'm missing now. It's bad, I'm supposed to know this <laughs> game. It's locked! <laughs> that would be the same person who decided to go and delete my Pokemon save files. Staples to be removed. It's locked. I've completely gone brain dead on this now. I can't think how I'm supposed to get that door open. It's locked tight. Must be something important down there. This something I can't think of. I know you can't get that key. <laughs> the wind makes not such a creaking. You'd better fear. When you set sail for good value, all winds blow towards stands. Warning: contains strong magnet which may interfere with other navigational equipment. <laughs> it's 
Okay, that's my point now. I'm like, when I hit 21, I was like, I just want to stay 21. I don't want to get any older. But unfortunately, that, that just never happens. When I think I look at it, I think, oh, I'm just not getting any younger. <laughs> And it's especially scary when you're sitting there in, a, in someone else's stream chat and they're going, oh, when you hit 30, you can't drink as much because all this will happen. And I'm sitting there going, oh, God, no, I want to be able to still drink when I'm 30. Uh, it's all over my hands. <laughs> One thing that I do that is probably uh, along the lines of being a therapist and approach person is uh, if you like my drink. The only problem is with some fish more than say we can care. Oh good, more inventory. <laughs> That's not good. Mm, this should do it. Grab this old root and be on my way. Ah, oh, that's got really suck. <laughs> oh, the L word is a very good, uh, good series to watch. Long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later. I did it! I got the route. I have to admit, when I was younger, being wow. being underage, uh, look, for drinking never drink. really stopped me from drinking. Here it is. He's not such but then a my mother used all. to buy me in drinks. I Come think on. it was kind of good in a sense because then I got to my own limits and I didn't go and rebel to go and get drinks. We'll be right back. It was pretty good in a sense. <laughs> so, you know, I pretty much got to grips with my limits on alcohol pretty early when I was a kid. When I was like young and like 15 and that. Nice monkey. <laughs> One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. Fan? If you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Good luck! Thanks! <laughs> After some more furious paddling, I mean, the problem is if you sit there and, and just kind of really try to restrict what your children can do, they're more likely to rebel. I mean, the main reason why I used to try and sneak out and go out late at nights was because my mother was was like really against me going out at night. Didn't like me going out at all. Was really overly protective about it. So 
I kind of used to pretend I was staying at my best friend's when really we were just going out and getting drunk. So we were going out getting drunk or going out and camping at places we wanted to camp at. <laughs> so I can definitely say, you know, if you're going to let them do something, like at least try and allow it. So, you know, if they're going to do it, let them do it under their own roof. So at least you're there kind of for it rather than saying you just don't do it at all. I mean that may may work for some people, it might not even work for other people, but it, it definitely worked for me on not rebelling on certain things. Balmy weather we're having, isn't it? It's always like that down here. <laughs> what happened to the ship? They all left for the wedding. Where's the wedding? There's a lovely church on Melee Island. Headed there. <laughs> Marrying the Melee Island? Oh no. Why are you still here? My head fell into the lava there, and I had to chase after it. And when I came back, they had gone. Shame, too. I hate to miss the wedding. I've got to go after them. I've got to stop that wedding. Bye. Bob! Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, I missed the boat to the wedding. Hey! No problem! <laughs> we can take mine! I remember... Let's uh, go! I think this is back on my... Back when my uh, dad hey, used to uh, live here and... Uh, on his 40th birthday party they'd got in this big keg of beer and it was really funny because uh, my, my eldest brother kept helping himself to the beer you know he kept getting himself a drink, kept getting himself a drink and everyone at the party was, was laughing because you know they think oh he's well away drinking all this beer and then by the evening I remember him laying on the sofa going oh god my head, my head, the room's spinning because <laughs> he'd had just too much so I think he kind of learned not to, uh, he, he never really drank that much beer ever again after that because he learned from it. Well, you have a ship? <laughs> yep. Will you take me to Melee Island? I'll lend you my ship if you promise to rescue me with it. Okay. Well, let's go! <laughs> well, that certainly was easier than the trip to Monkey Island. I wonder where Toothrot's gone to now. Now I'll have to stop the wedding by myself. <laughs> I'm selling this fine mouthwash. Is it mint flavored? I only like the minty kind. <laughs> cool. It's funny how in the original there's, there's like no moon in the background and then in this one there is. Yeah, I just uh, was saying that my brother There's used to help him, like on my dad's name. thought if he kept helping himself to the hey, keg of beer. I better get to the church. And uh, he kind of learnt the hard way about drinking too much beer. And he was he was still he was really young. I can't think how young he was back then, but 
he had a really bad uh, bad hangover the next day from it, or sort of kind of like he didn't he slept That's in after that. Church. He had the whole spinning room effects and feeling sick and hot, <laughs> so he kind of never touched a touched that much alcohol again. What about my crew? I may have left them behind. <laughs> Two. You look in here actually, what it looks like. You see there's supposed to be people, like ghosts, along the side here. And there isn't in the remake of it. There's no one in there. Oh, there goes the leg. Stop the wedding! Hey! <laughs> Who's that? You! Take this, you vaporous voodoo vermin! Take what? Are you trying to bribe me? What's going on? Oh, Guy Brush, you mad fool! I'm impressed you came to rescue me, but it really wasn't necessary. I had everything well in hand. Unfortunately, your arrival has made it necessary for me to tip my hand early. How? Who? But if you're here, then who's that in the dress? <laughs> what? No, don't scare them! They have my ghost zapping root beer bottle! Oh, I'll get it! Oops. Ugh, nice going, Guybrush. Now I've got to chase them down to get my voodoo root beer back. But... I... Uh... Hey! You dared come here and confront uh, me? I can't really believe awesome. your audacity! I only time I up at the hospital was when I, uh... just mixed the wrong kind of drink together. You remember the saying, uh, never mix the grain with the grape? Stuff like that. Um, I decided to have a beer with Bailey's once and it really wasn't a good idea. That made me really, really sick because, it, because of the whole curdling in your stomach because Bailey's is like a creamy liqueur. And obviously beer is just a... Uh, like coffee, isn't it, and stuff like that. So it really didn't mix. So I got taken up there because my, I was just in a bit of pain from the whole process of what it was doing in my stomach. Wasn't anything serious, so uh, they just said, oh, it was just go on its own. Take this, you vaporous voodoo <laughs> vermin. You'll never menace decent, tangible pirates again, you billowing bag I used of to drink the Bailey's, uh, the ba um, Bacardi Breezes. That begins with B. Uh, I can't uh, touch the melon flavored no. ones on either minute. because I had them. I was drinking beer as well, and um, that made me violently like sick. <laughs> so I've never ever touched the mellow ones since. I just can't. I can't go near them. Just the smell of them makes it's me feel sick. Must be pocket lint. <laughs> um, say now, let's not be hasty. The cat like, what's that big shiny thing on the screen? It's so white. I'm actually quite lucky my cat has decided to wander off around the house today because usually she likes to sit in front of where the uh, where the camera is. to see you, son. How's the ship? If you're interested in trading up, I can give you a fair price for it. Howdy, partner. You know, just by looking at you, I can tell you're a... Good 
bargain. I kind of have to admit, I think Stan had that coming. For some reason, it's annoying. I'm gonna have to wait until it's out. That's even you could probably be like aiming at, at him, and I think it just goes by the old point of clip. There we go. Just wasn't clicking the right part. They, they, I've heard they're quite nice to people who don't really drink, they drink the non-alcoholic ones. No, oh, I missed that. The truck face then. <laughs> oh well. Hey! Yikes! Oh, don't sneak up on me like that. Sorry. That's okay. You know, LeChuck was a deviant, obnoxious, slithery, creepy, crawly sort of a guy, but I'll say one thing for him. What's that? <laughs> it sure yes. looks nice exploding against night sky. It's good yes. at fending off evil ghost pirates. <laughs> Can I buy you a root beer? this island we're gonna have ourselves a little chat with mr threeport <laughs> hey, yeah that, this is what happens to the creek yeah, at least i learned something from all this what's that how to deal with frustration disappointment and irritating cynicism Hmm, that sounds like something my husband would say. Ah. There <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see, what, yeah. So you see the engine is different as well. I've added all the images into this as well. I did kind of say that this game wasn't going to last very long when we streaming because uh, because I literally just within two two streams. Oh no, she's not actually married. She's saying that because uh, she, you actually I might leave that until uh, until later on. I'll let you guys find out what happens in the Rosso Monkey Island when I uh, go through number two and number three. Um, I might see if I can grab myself another copy of number 4 because I used to have that on CD but I can't remember exactly where it went to. Yeah, pretty much. It was a hint. And he was like, oh! <laughs> Oof. I've been clicking. It's awful. I always click. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> That's that 
both my elbows taking at the same time. I don't feel I can get out of this bloody uh, part. I don't know if there's any button that I'll actually skip this because obviously this is just the ending and there's nothing really at the end. <sighs> well, I'll let this play through then and I will stop the stream once this gets right to the end of the credits. What did that say? That gave me a hint. You need to use the root button. <laughs> It's the end of the game, isn't it? That's the hint it gives me at the end of the game. I've had that there for a little while, um, Rhea made me the uh, overlay, and I had that like just in the corner. Um, you do know what's next. <laughs> First I'll be, be taking a little short break, and I will be coming back on the stream again today, because I'm going to be doing some Dark Souls 2, which uh, is what I used some of the donation money that Ian gave me towards getting so I can actually start playing Dark Souls 2. But I'm going to have a little bit of a chill out mood. Like go chill out a little bit and try and get all the stuff I need for that. For the uh, Dark Souls mods and stuff. And then I'll be streaming that uh, a bit later today. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? I don't even know where that's supposed to be. That looks like something my cat would type on a keyboard. Video logs. I don't really know how to do a video log, so what would even say in a video log? I hardly know what to say in a stream, let alone a video log, so... But I think it's a lot easier to talk in a stream when you have people to actually direct you're talking to rather than just randomly talking with no one there. It makes it a lot easier because especially when you've got people asking you questions or talking about something and you kind of put an input to them as well. Okay, DS fixed. Well, you can walk me through that when I get back on Team Speak. I just thought actually, in, after all these games, uh, I've got these ones that I'm playing, I'm gonna start up. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is play Monkey Island series with Dark Souls in between. Once I've gone through the series that I get up to, I'm gonna go through the Gable Knight series as well. Because I've got that on good old games for like £11 for the free games. So that would be pretty cool as well. <laughs> yep. Prepare to help, that's what should be for you. Not prepare to die. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that'll probably be easier actually, because in that way, you, I mean, you you might end up saying something a bit later than what what it is, but um, I'll probably just like direct questions to you now. I don't mind really. It depends if the other one's a bit too noisy. I might have to go and go on the just gaming one, and make a little stream channel. Got 
wanted to plan some conditions at the end. Oh no, I don't mean sync as in you won't, I mean as in if you're watching the video it won't, you'll see it a couple of minutes after I've done something. If that makes sense. Right, and um, that is the end of The Secret of Monkey Island, the special edition. Uh, when I next start streaming the Monkey Island series, I'll be playing Monkey Island 2. And I will shortly be playing Dark Souls 2. Uh, so I'll catch you guys in a bit later on tonight. So, see you guys later.